Well, as the Copa America and Euro fever grips the world over, a small Mexican town, Chichihulaco, is struggling to sustain the art of handcrafted footballs. The handcrafted football actually struggles to stay in game as this Mexican town finds it increasingly difficult to sustain the lost tradition. Football is in the air as the world talks Copa America, the French capital is ready for European Championship. Meanwhile, a small Mexican town, Chicoalco, is struggling to sustain the art of handcrafted footballs. For many in this place, teaching football is a family business. 72-year-old Virginia has been tirelessly putting together five footballs a day. She now gets just 54 cents for making a ball, and it's difficult to survive on the traditional practice. We lack everything. Right now, we don't have beans or salt. We're here, but we have nothing. We are truly poor. At most, I can make four footballs daily and I end up really tired because it takes me all day. And for 50 cents, it doesn't add up. Stiff competition from low-priced imported products have pushed the hand-stitched balls to the periphery. Still, the local manufacturers vow for the quality of their products. I don't want to be critical, but imported balls often don't have the right weight or dimensions. The low earnings from this occupation has also triggered people to look into other sources of income. Some have even turned to drug trafficking. And the region is known for being the country's top producer of opium poppies and marijuana. This has also impacted the business of football. Despite this, sports lovers continue to play with the country's town-made footballs all over Mexico.